We've lined up 20 Tesla stories in this episode, and they only get crazier, so buckle up. Sean sent us this video from when he helped his best friend's wife prove she was innocent in a wreck that totaled her Tesla Model Y. A traffic light turned yellow just as she approached an intersection. She decided to continue legally through the intersection, and that's when the driver of a Toyota RAV4, who'd been waiting to turn left, decided to go for it. When the Toyota hit the front of the Tesla, all the airbags deployed before it rolled into a pole. Ted's wife was thankful to avoid any major injuries, and the Toyota driver was also fine, but they were left with a question. Who's at fault? When the police arrived at the scene of the collision, they started questioning both drivers, and that's when Sean found out about the incident and the question of who was at fault. Sean remembered enabling the Tesla cam setting in her car a couple of weeks earlier, so he jumped into his car and rushed to the scene. The police were still conducting their investigation when Sean arrived and immediately jumped into the crashed Tesla and pulled up the footage. He asked an officer to join him in the car so they could watch it together. The officer recorded the Tesla cam footage with his body-worn camera as Sean played it in the Model Y. He was able to see that the RAV4 had turned while the light was still yellow, making the Toyota driver responsible for the collision. The Tesla was deemed a total loss. Ted's wife ordered a new Model Y, which she took delivery of only two days later. David was headed home after his last sales call of the day, and traffic was piling up as usual. He was traveling pretty slowly, keeping a safe distance from the car ahead of him when, all of a sudden, he was hit by a commercial truck. People you can count on? <laughs> For what? Crushing your car? We definitely can't count on the truck driver to pay attention, as we can see he drifted into David's lane, missing the car behind him with inches to spare before hitting the right side of David's Tesla. David thinks Will agree that the driver was probably on his phone. He also thinks he was panicking after the collision because he came up with a pretty bad explanation for why it had happened. I'm still trying to figure out what we can count on him for exactly. The Tesla wasn't drivable and had to be towed to a repair shop. The total repair bill came to 14,000 US dollars. Lawrence was driving his Model 3 in San Francisco. He merged onto the highway using the zipper method, taking a position one car back from the Tesla that had been in front of him. Apparently, the driver of the van who ended up behind him was highly offended by this and went on the offensive. The van driver merged across a solid line to pass Lawrence on the right before he started merging in front of Lawrence. Lawrence had nowhere else to go, so the van driver crashed into him before continuing to shove his Tesla. They both stopped and a wild argument ensued. The CHP was called and when an officer arrived, Lawrence told him he had footage of the collision, but he didn't know how to play the video for him in his car. The officer told them to leave and that Lawrence should email him the footage, which he did. He's now waiting to hear the results of the investigation. Lawrence wants to know who you think was at fault. Do you think he did something wrong? Danielle was driving at the speed limit of 45 miles per hour when an elderly man made a U-turn without looking, cutting Danielle off. The woman walked away without a scratch, but we can't say the same for Danielle's Tesla or for the legal process that followed. Danielle had a split second to decide what to do. When he saw the woman, he aimed for the wall and he thinks this last second maneuver might have saved her life. Police arrived at the scene, but Danielle told us they were completely incompetent. They tried blaming the crash on Danielle and told him that if he hadn't made that last second adjustment to the steering wheel and hit the wall, he'd be looking forward to a prison sentence. Danielle is now taking legal action to clear his name and hold the other driver accountable since he legally had the right of way. Repairing the damage to his Tesla cost 35,000 US dollars. Okay, I'm no traffic cop, but doesn't it look like the other driver was going the wrong way and now he's trying to get turned around? Let us know your theory in the comments. Anthony had parked his Model 3 outside of a supermarket in Springfield, New Jersey while he was shopping. Suddenly, an intense storm rolled in. Wow, that shopping cart hit the camera straight on. Wait, what is going on? This seems like it's straight out of a horror movie. 
the shopping carts united and went on the attack. Anthony's Tesla was hit three times, and when he got out of the store, he was shocked by what he found. The carts left dents and scratches all over the left side of the car, and the rear bumper cover and trunk lid were also hit. Anthony went back in the store and told the manager what had happened. He thinks that ultimately, the damage is their responsibility, and we counted at least six rogue carts abandoned by Lazy Bones. The store told Anthony his first step was to get a repair quote. When he went and got one, he was in for another shock. Why don't we play a game? Can you guess what the repair estimate was to fix this damage? Leave your guess in the comments, and we'll tell you the answer at the end of the video. Josh was with his girlfriend Mary driving her Model 3 on their way to dinner. They were waiting at a red light when a GMC SUV pulled up behind them. When the turn lane got a green arrow and traffic began moving, Josh and Mary still had a red light. The GMC driver wasn't paying attention and accelerated into the back of Mary's Model 3, evidently thinking their light had turned green as well. He immediately took responsibility when the police arrived and the video from the Tesla confirmed what had happened. They filed a claim with the SUV driver's insurance provider, State Farm, and the repair estimate came to $12,000 US dollars. Hugo stopped for a red light in Las Vegas, that one state, when a black pickup truck pulled up next to him. Suddenly, he heard a loud engine noise roaring behind him. Hugo watched in his rearview mirror as this mating ritual played out. Yeah, we're not impressed. This guy should really take it to the track, and we actually have an opportunity to take you to the track in Vegas. Our sponsor Morgan & Morgan is giving away two tickets to see Kyle Busch race in Las Vegas, plus a $2,000 check to use for travel expenses or anything else you'd like. That check will come in handy during a weekend in Vegas, but I bet this guy would probably use it to get some new tires. Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm with more than 900 attorneys and 100 offices in all 50 states. And they're a proud partner of driver Kyle Busch. Kyle's quick, Morgan & Morgan is quick. It sounds like a partnership made in heaven. To enter for a chance to win, text WHAM to For The People, that's 484-373-6753, or click one of the links in the video description. Thanks to Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring this video. Okay, I think it's time we watch this guy race away. Was anybody impressed by that little display? This submitter was backing out of a parking space in her Model Y when a Jeep driver also started backing up before hitting the right side of her Tesla. The Jeep driver's insurance provider decided our submitter was 20% at fault. And because this accident occurred in Alabama, a contributory negligence state, they denied all liability. Watch what happened while Oliver was driving his Model 3 at about 125 miles per hour on the German Autobahn. Oliver told us he doesn't know if autopilot helped, but he was able to recover the vehicle after it became unstable when he fully applied the brakes while driving halfway on the grass median. Oliver and the truck driver both stopped on the shoulder to examine the damage, but they decided not to call the police or file insurance claims after deciding they were both at fault. They agreed that the truck driver should have checked his rearview mirror for traffic, but that Oliver was also exceeding the recommended speed. Oliver told us, that's the risk you take when going fast on unrestricted segments of the Autobahn. Lax was sitting at a red light when a Scion driver making a right on red started crossing all three lanes of traffic to reach the left lane. Suddenly, a BMW traveling in the center lane rear-ended the Scion. We don't know anything else about this collision, but I think it's safe to assume the BMW driver probably thought the Scion driver would stick to the right lane. Justin was driving along in Villa Rica, Georgia when he witnessed a car fall off a vehicle transporter. The transporter driver braked for a turning car and the car on the front tumbled down onto its roof. The truck driver can be seen quickly climbing on top of the transporter, probably wondering how this could have happened. Jeff and Rebecca were driving in Lakewood, California, when he noticed the driver of a sedan driving erratically and closely following other traffic. When traffic came to a sudden stop just after an intersection, the other driver was unable to avoid hitting the car ahead of him. 
Jeff told us his fiance Rebecca clicked the Tesla cam button too quickly after the collision, so the Tesla cam didn't record the sedan driver taking off, making it a hit and run. Hey, we have to give Rebecca credit for hitting the Tesla cam button. Not all co-pilots remember to do that. Ryan was on his daily commute home from work when he approached a stretch of highway where traffic always slows down. One guy driving a truck wasn't watching the road and almost hit the car in front of him. He made the error of locking up his brakes, causing him to lose control and crash into the median barrier. Do you think this crash could have been avoided if he'd released the brakes and corrected his steering before applying the brakes again, or was it too late? Let us know in a comment. Emily was heading to work when she witnessed a work truck pulling a trailer move to the right lane in the middle of an intersection. At the same time, an SUV driver decided to make a right on red. The truck driver began signaling at the same time that they started their lane change, so it looks like both drivers made mistakes. Who do you think was ultimately responsible? We're actually not really sure, so help us out with your expert opinions in the comments. Ryan was driving his Ram 1500 to work. Yeah, we know this isn't a Tesla cam video. Just bear with us. He stopped at an intersection just outside the Tesla Gigafactory in Austin when, out of nowhere, a wild Cybertruck appeared. This is the first Cybertruck video we've seen on this channel. I can't believe we haven't received any Tesla cam sightings of it yet. Chris was driving his Model X in Green Cove Springs, Florida when a Nissan driver aggressively cut him off. The Mustang driver in front tried to get out of the Nissan's way, but he was all over the place. Chris told us he encountered the same driver speeding again the next day, and he said that the driver was an elderly man. Before we reveal Anthony's repair estimate, let's watch some more thrilling shopping cart action. We usually blame these cart versus Tesla attacks on the cart demon, but sometimes we get hard evidence that they were caused by reckless humans. This video from Mark is a great example. He'd parked at Home Depot when a guy took a cart out of the cart corral, but he didn't seem to care that another one was sent rolling. Of course, the cart headed straight toward Mark's Tesla. Now those are carts you can count on. Thankfully, there was no damage thanks to the rubber bumper on the cart. Mark didn't file an insurance claim or contact the police. Todd, on the other hand, may have reason to call the police. We have no idea what this guy is up to. He lined up his cart, aimed it straight at the Tesla, let it go, and then walked out of frame, only to return to grab the cart right after it had hit the Tesla. Do you think this guy misjudged the angle of the left repeater camera, thinking it wouldn't catch him doing this? For now, Todd is living with the dent, but he sent along this message. Where is Agent Sebastian when you need him? Josh and his daughter Kinsley and son Isaac were headed toward Asheville to shop for school supplies. Suddenly, their lengthy discussion of the weather was interrupted when they saw a guy running down the side of the road. As they passed him, they figured out why he was running. He was trying to catch his cow that had gotten loose. Shia and his partner Yu Chen recently moved to Denver from Los Angeles and were charging their Model Y at a free charging station when the owners of the Model 3 park next to them returned to their vehicle. One of the passengers unplugged their charging cable before scratching up the charge port door. Evidently, they thought Shia had unplugged them when, in fact, they had parked in a car share only parking spot and had been unplugged by a car share customer returning a vehicle. Shia confronted the guy, but he just got inside his Model 3 and left without apologizing. Shia decided to let it go rather than act on his anger. What would you have done if this had happened to you? Wham! Bam! We got a Patreon man. Please support the show.